clear in chapter three. Surat al Imran, chapter of the family of Imran. Aleph, oh, in the name of law, the net, in the name of the law, the beneficent, merciful. Aleph la mean, there is no God but He, the living, the eternal. He hath sent down to thee the book with the truth, confirming what was before it. He sent down uh, the Torah and the Evangel aforetime as guidance for the people. He hath sent down the Furqan. Verily, for those who have disbelieved the signs of Allah, there is a punishment severe. Allah is sublime, wielder of vengeance. He it is who hath sent down to thee. Oh, verily from Allah nothing is hid either in the earth or in the heaven. He it is who forms you in the wombs as he pleases. There is no God but he, the sublime, the wise. He it is who hath sent down to thee the book. In it are clearly formulated verses. These are the essence of the book. Others are ambiguous. Now is the, for those in whose hearts is an inclination to fall away. They follow the ambiguous part of it out of a desire of dissension and seeking its explanation, though no one knows its explanation except the law. And those well grounded in knowledge say we believe in it all is from our Lord. No one takes warning but those of insight. O oh, our Lord, do not incline our hearts to go astray after having guided us, and give us mercy from thyself. Thou art the giver. O oh, our Lord, thou art going to gather the people to a day of which there is no doubt, verily a law will not fail the appointment. As for those who have disbelieved their wealth and their children will not avail them anything against the law, they are fuel of the fire. After the fashion of the family of Pharaoh and of those before them, who counted our signs false. And Allah took hold of them for their sins, Allah, severe in punishment. Say to those who have disbelieved, ye will be overthrown and driven in a flock to Gehenna, a bad bed. Ye have already had a sign in two parties which met, one fighting in the way of Allah, another unbelieving, who saw them with their eyes twice as many as they were. Allah supporteth with his help whom he willeth, Surely and that is a lesson for those who have sight made attractive to the people is the love of desires, wives and children, and hoarded hordes of gold and silver and excellent horses and cattle. Such are the goods of this present life, but with the laws, the best place of resort, say, shall I tell you of something better than that? For those who have acted piously are with their Lord, gardens through which the rivers flow and which to abide and pure spouses and goodwill from Allah, Allah is observant of his servants. who say, our, O oh, our Lord, we have believed, so forgive us our sins and protect us from the punishment of the fire, the patient, the truthful, the obedient, the contributors, the askers of forgiveness in the morning. Allah hath testified that there is no God but he, likewise the angels and the people of knowledge. Dispensing justice, there is no God but he, the sublime, the wise. Verily, the religion and Allah's sight is Islam, and those to whom the book has been given did not differ until after the knowledge had come to them. Out of the jealousy among themselves, if anyone disbelieves in the signs of Allah, Allah is quick to reckon. So if they dispute with thee, say, I have surrendered myself to Allah, likewise those who have followed me, and say to those who the book has been given, and to the common folk, have ye surrendered yourselves? If they surrender themselves, they have let themselves be guided, and if they turn away, thou art only responsible for the proclamation and the laws observant of his servants. Verily, those who disbelieve in the signs of a law 
and kill the prophets wrongfully and kill those of the people who urge justice, give them tidings of painful punishment. These are they whose works have come to naught in this world and the hereafter, nor have they any helpers. Hast thou not seen those to whom a portion of the book has been given being called the book of the law, that it might judge between them? Then a party of them turned away, averting themselves. That is because they say the fire will not touch us except for a certain number of days. They have been deluded in their religion by what they have been inventing. But how will it be when we gather them to a day of which there is no doubt and each one will be paid in full of what he has earned without being wronged? Say, O Allah, owner of the kingly power, thou givest the power to whom thou willest, and withdrawest the power from whom thou willest, thou exaltest whom thou willest, and abasest whom thou willest. Verily thou over all things hast power, thou causest the night to interpenetrate the day, and the day to interpenetrate the night. Thou bringest forth the living from the dead, and the dead from the living thou providest, for whom thou wilt without reckoning. Let not the unbelievers take thee, uh, let not the believers take the unbelievers as friends in preference to the believers. If anyone does that, he is not of a law's party at all, unless it be that ye are in some measure afraid of them. Allah warns you to beware of himself and to Allah's the trend. Say, whether ye conceal what is in your hearts or reveal it, Allah knows it. He knows what is in the heavens and what is in the earth, and Allah over everything hath power. On the day when each one will find presented the good which he has done and the evil he has done, he will wish that between him and it were a wide space. Allah warns you to beware of himself. Allah is kindly with his servants. Say, if ye love Allah, Follow me and Allah will love you and will forgive you your sins. Allah is forgiving, compassionate. Say, obey Allah and the messenger. Then if they turn away, Allah does not love the unbelievers. Verily Allah hath chosen Adam and Noah and the family of Abraham and the family of Imran above the worlds. Descendants one of another, Allah is one who hears and knows. Recall when the wife of Imran said, O my Lord, I vow. To thee what is in my belly, dedicated to thy service, accept it from me, fairly thou art one who hears and knows. Then when she was delivered of it, she said, O oh my Lord, what I have been delivered of is a female. Allah knew quite well what she had been delivered of. The male is not like the female. I have named her Mary, and I seek refuge with thee for her and her progeny from Satan, the stoned. So her Lord vouchsafed her a good acceptance and caused her to shoot up a goodly growth. Zechariah took charge of her. Whenever Zechariah entered the sanctuary to see her, he found beside her provisions. Said he, O oh Mary, hast, how hast thou this? She replied, it is from Allah. Allah provides for whom he willeth without reckoning. There Zechariah called upon his Lord and said, O oh my Lord, give me from thyself a good offspring, verily thou art the hearer of prayer. So the angels called to him while he was yet standing praying in the sanctuary. Verily Allah giveth thee tidings of Yahya, confirming a word from Allah, a leader, abstinent, a prophet, and one of the upright. Said he, my Lord, how shall I have a youth, seeing that old age has come upon me and my wife is barren? He replied, so shall it be, Allah doeth as he willeth. He said, my Lord, appoint for me a sign. He replied, thy sign is that thou shalt not speak to the people for three days except by gesture, but remember thy Lord often and give glory in the evening and in the morning. Recall when the angels said, O Mary, verily Allah hath chosen thee and purified thee and chosen thee above the women of the worlds, O Mary, be obedient to thy Lord, prostrate thyself, and bow with those who bow. That is one of the stories of the unseen, which we have given thee by inspiration. Thou wast not with them when they cast their pins to decide which of them should take charge of Mary, nor wast thou with them 
when they were contending. Recall when the angel said, Oh, Mary, a law give thee tidings of a word from himself, whose name is the Messiah, Jesus, son of Mary, an eminent one in the world, and the hereafter, one of those brought near. And he will speak to the people in the cradle, and as a grown man, one of the upright, she said, My Lord, how shall I have a child, seeing no man hath touched me? He said, So shall it be, a law created. What he will it, when he decideth upon a thing, he simply saith, Be and it is, and he will teach him the book and the wisdom and the Torah and the evangel and the messenger to the children of Israel. I have come to you with a sign from your Lord that I shall create for you from clay the form of a bird and shall breathe into it. And it will become a bird by the permission of a law and I shall heal the blind and the leprous and bring the dead to life by permission of a law. And I shall announce to you what you may eat and what ye may store up in your houses is verily and that is a sign for you if ye are believers. And confirming what is before me of the Torah. And that I may make allowable for you some things which have been forbidden to you. I have brought you a sign from your Lord. So act piously towards Allah and obey me. For only Allah is your Lord, is my Lord and your Lord. So serve him. This is the straight path. So when Jesus perceived unbelief on their part, he said, who were my helpers towards the law? The apostles replied, we are the helpers of the law. We have believed in the law. Do thou testify that we are Muslim? O oh, our Lord, we have believed in what thou hast sent down and followed the messenger. So write us down among the witnesses. They plotted and Allah plotted, but Allah is the best of plotters. Recall when Allah said, O oh Jesus, I am going to bring thy term to an end and raise thee to myself and purify thee from those who have disbelieved. And I am going to set those who have followed thee above those who have disbelieved until the day of resurrection. Then to me do ye return, and I shall judge between you in regard to that which ye have been differing. As for those who have disbelieved, I shall punish them with a violent punishment in the world and in the hereafter, and for them are no helpers. As for those who have believed and done the works of righteousness, he will pay them their rewards in full. Allah loveth not the wrongdoers. So much do we recite to thee of the signs and the wise reminder. Jesus in Allah's eyes is in the same position as Adam. He created him of dust. Then said to him, be and he is the truth from thy Lord, so be not of those who dubitate. If anyone dispute with thee concerning him, after the knowledge which has come to thee, say, come, let us call our sons and your sons and our wives and your wives, ourselves and yourselves. Then let us make earnest prayer and lay the curse of Allah upon those who lie. And this is certainly the true account. There is nothing of the nature of a God except a law. Allah is the sublime, the wise. If they then turn away, Allah knoweth the corruptors. Say, O people of the book, tum, come to a word which is fair between us and you, to wit, that we serve no one but Allah, that we associate nothing with him, and that we do not take one the other as lords apart from Allah. If they if then they turn away, say ye, bear witness that we are Muslimin. O people of the book, why do ye dispute about Abraham, seeing that the Torah and the Evangel were not sent down till after his time? Have ye no sense? There are ye have disputed about a thing of which ye have revealed knowledge. Why then will ye dispute about a thing of which ye have no knowledge? Allah knoweth. 
but ye do not know. Abraham was not a Jew, nor was he a Christian, but he was a Hanif, a Muslim, and he was not one of the polytheists. Surely the people who are nearest to Abraham are those who followed him and this prophet and those who have believed Allah is the patron of the believers. A party of the people of the book would like to lead you astray, but they lead no one astray but themselves without being aware. O people of the book, why do ye disbelieve in the signs of Allah, though ye are witnesses? O people of the book, why do ye confuse the truth with the false and conceal the truth when ye know? A party of the people of the book said, believe in what has been sent down to those who have believed at the beginning of the day and disbelieve at the end of it. Perhaps they will return, but do not believe that there is given to it anyone the like of what has been given to you or they will dispute do not but do not believe anyone but those who follow your religion say that guidance is Allah's guidance But do not, yeah, perhaps they will return, but do not believe that there has been given to anyone the like of what has been given to you, or they will dispute with you in the presence of your Lord, say, bounty is in the hand of Allah, he giveth it to whomsoever you willeth. Allah is unrestricting, knowing, but not believe in anyone but those who follow your religion, say, the guidance is Allah's guidance, he singles out with his mercy whomsoever he willeth. Allah is the wielder of mighty bounty. Among the people of the book are those who, if one entrusts them with the talent, will pay it back. But among them are others who, if one entrusts them with the dinar, he will not pay it back, except so long as one who remains standing over them. And that is because they say we are not open to punishment in regard to the common people. They speak falsehood about Allah knowingly. On the contrary, if one fulfills his covenant and acts piously, Allah loveth those who act piously, verily those who buy a small gain at the cost of the covenant of Allah, and their oaths will have no portion in the hereafter, and Allah will neither speak to them nor look at them on the day of resurrection, nor will he purify them, for them is in store a punishment painful, a part of them twist their tongues in the book, that ye may think it to be a bit of the book, though it is not a bit of the book, and say it is from Allah, though it is not from Allah, they speak falsehood about Allah, Knowingly, it was not for a human being that Allah should give them the book and the jurisdiction and the prophetic office that he should then say to the people, be ye servants to me apart from Allah, but be ye rabbis in virtue of your teaching the book and in virtue of your living, of your having studied it. He does not command you to take the angels and the prophets as lords. Will he command you to show unbelief after ye are Muslimin? Recall when Allah took the covenant with the prophet of the prophets, whatever book and wisdom I may have given you, and there comes to you a messenger confirming what is with you, ye shall believe in him and help him. He said, do ye assent and take my task on that condition? They replied, we assent. He said, bear witness then, and I am with you among those who bear witness. So whoever turns away after that, they are the reprobate. Do they desire some other religion than that of the law, when to him surrenders, whosoever is in the heavens and on the earth, willingly or unwillingly, and to him are they made to return, say, we have believed in the law and what has been sent down to us, and what has been sent down to Abraham and Ishmael and Isaac and Jacob and the patriarchs, and what was given to Moses and Jesus and the prophets from their Lord, we make no distinction between them, and we to him do surrender. If anyone desires any religion other than Islam, it will not be accepted of him, and in the hereafter he will be among the losers. How will Allah guide a people who have disbelieved after having believed and after they have testified that the messenger is true and the evidence has come to them? Allah doth not guide the people who are wrongdoers. Their reward is that upon them is the curse of Allah and the angels and the people as a whole. They are in to abide without the punishment being lightened from off them and without their being respited, except those who have afterwards repented and acted uprightly, then verily a law is forgiving compassionate those who would disbelieve after having believed and have then increased in unbelief from
from them repentance will not be accepted. They are the ones who go astray. Those who have disbelieved and have died as unbelievers from one of them, not the fool of the earth of gold, were he offered as a ransom, would be accepted for them as a painful punishment, and they will have no helpers. Ye will not attain to virtuous conduct until ye contribute of what ye love. Whatever thing ye contribute, a law of it doth know. Every kind of food was allowable to the children of Israel, except what Israel made forbidden to himself before the Torah was sent down, say, bring the Torah then, and recite it if ye speak the truth. So whoever invents falsehood about a law, after that, they are the wrongdoers, say a law hath spoken truth. So follow the creed of Abraham, who was a Hanif and was not of the polytheist. The first house founded for the people was that at Baca, a blessed house and a guidance to the worlds. In it are signs, evidences, the station of Abraham and the security of him who enters it. Pilgrimage to the house is due to a law from the people. Whoever is able to make his way thither, but anyone who disbelieves a law is rich beyond need of the worlds. Say, O people of the book, why do ye disbelieve the signs of a law and the law is a witness of what ye do? Say, O people of the book, why do ye turn aside from the way of a law? Those who have believed, desiring it to be crooked, though ye are witnesses, a law is not neglectful of what ye do. O ye who have believed, if ye obey a part of those to whom the book has been given, they will render you unbelievers again after your having believed. And how can ye disbelieve when ye have the signs of the law recited to you and his messenger is amongst you? He who seeks defense in the law has been guided to a straight path. O ye who have believed, fear law with the fear which is due to him, and die not except as Muslimin on the day. Yeah. And seek defense in the bond of the law as one body and do not separate up. Remember the goodness of the law to you when ye were enemies. He knit you together and by his goodness ye became brethren. Ye were on the brink of a pit of the fire and he rescued you from it. Thus doth the law make his signs clear for you. Mayhap, mayhap ye will let yourselves be guided and let there be of you a community inviting the good, urging what is reputable and restraining from what is disreputable. Such are the prosperous. Be not like those who have separated and went different ways after the evidences had come to them, for them is a punishment mighty on the day when some faces will become white and some faces will become black. As for those whose faces have become black, did ye disbelieve after having believed and taste the punishment for the unbelief ye have been showing? As for those whose faces have become white in the mercy of Allah, will they be therein to abide? These signs of Allah do we recite to thee in truth. Allah intends not wrong to the worlds. To Allah belongs what is in the heavens and what is in the earth. And to Allah are brought back all affairs. Ye have become the best community ever produced for the people, urging what is reputable and restraining from what is disreputable and believing in Allah. If the people of the book had believed it, would have been better for them. Some of them are believers, but most of them are the reprobate. They will not injure you except by annoyance. And if they fight you, they will turn their backs and they will not be helped. Humiliation is stamped upon them wherever they may be come upon, unless in a bond from a law and a bond from the people. They have settled under anger from a law. The poverty is stamped upon them. That is because they have been disbelieving in the signs of a law and slaying the prophets unjustly. That is for the opposition and enmity they have been showing. They are not all alike. There is a community of the people of the book, which is steadfast, reciting the signs of a law at the drawing on of night, prostrating themselves, believing in a law on the last day, urging what is reputable and restraining from what is disreputable and vying in good deeds. These are the upright. For the good that ye do, ye will not be treated with ingratitude for a law knoweth those who act piously, verily the wealth and the children of those who have disbelieved will not avail them against a law at all. They are the inmates of the fire therein to abide. What they contribute in this life is like a frosty wind which strikes the tillage of a people who have done wrong to themselves and destroys it. A law hath not wronged them, but they themselves, but themselves are they wronging. O ye who have believed, choose not bosom friends outside yourselves. 
They will not fail you in disloyalty. They like what you are distressed at. Hatred has appeared on their lips, but that which their hearts conceal is greater. We have made the signs clear to you. If ye have been understanding, there ye are. Ye love them, but they love not you. Ye believe in the book, all of it. But when they meet you, they say, we have believed. But when they are alone, they bite their fingers at you for anger. Say, die in your anger. Verily the law knoweth what is in the breasts. If ye have a touch of good, it annoys them. But if an evil befall you, they rejoice at it. If, however, ye endure and act piously, their cunning will not harm you at all. Verily the law comprehendeth what they do. Recall, when thou didst go forth early from thy household to settle the believers in positions for the battle, a law hears and knows. Recall when two sections of you were on the point of flinching, though a law was their patron and a law that the believers placed their trust, a law hath already helped you at batter when ye were insignificant, act pilously towards the law, then mayhap ye will show thankfulness. Recall when thou wert saying to the believers, will it not suffice you that your Lord reinforces you with 3,000 of the angels sent down? A, if ye endure and act piously, and they come upon you in this very rush of, the, this very rush of theirs, your Lord will reinforce you with 5,000 of the angels designated. A law only set that forth as good news for you, that your hearts thereby may be at peace. Help cometh only from a law, the sublime, the wise. That he might cut off a flank of those who have been, who have disbelieved or might cast them down so that they would retire disappointed. Thou hast nothing to do with the affair our might relent towards them, our might punish them, for they are wrongdoers. To a law belongs what is in the heavens and what is in the earth. He forgiveth whom he willeth and punisheth whom he willeth. A law is forgiving, compassionate. O ye who have believed, live not on usury, doubled twice over, but act piously towards the law. Mayhap ye will prosper and protect yourselves against the fire which has been prepared for the unbelievers and obey Allah and the messenger, perhaps ye will be mercifully treated and hasten towards forgiveness from your Lord and the garden wide as the heavens and the earth prepared for those who act. Piously who contribute in prosperity and adversity and restrain their anger and deal leniently with the people, a law of it, those who do well, who when they commit an indecency are wrong against themselves, remember a law and max forgiveness for their sins, and who forgive the sins but a law, and do not persist in what they have done when they know better. The recompense of such is forgiveness from their Lord and gardens through which the rivers flow, in which to abide good is the hire of those who labor. Precedents have happened before your day. Travel about in the land and see of what nature was the latter end of those who counted the message false. This is an explanation for the people, a guidance and an admonition for those who act piously. Do not grow faint and grieve. Now that ye have the upper hand, if ye be believers, if a hurt afflict you, a similar hurt hath already afflict, affected the enemy. These, if a hurt affect you, a similar hurt has already affected the enemy. These days we cause to alternate amongst the people, and it is in order that a law may know those who have believed and may choose martyrs from among you. A law loveth not the wrongdoers, and that a law may purge those who have believed and sift out the unbelievers. Or did ye think that ye would enter the garden without a law, first knowing? Those of you who strove with all their might, and knowing those who endure, ye have been desiring death before ye met it, so now seeth looking it in the face. 
Muhammad is only a messenger before him. The messengers have passed away. If he dies or is killed, will ye turn back upon your heels? If anyone turns back upon his heels, he will not injure Allah at all. Allah will recompense those who show gratitude. But it is not given to anyone to die except by permission of Allah, written and dated. To him who desires the reward of this world, we shall give a share of it. And to him who desires the reward of the hereafter, we shall give a share of it. We shall recompense those who show gratitude. How many a prophet has there been along with whom many thousands fought and did not grow faint because of what befell them in the way of Allah? Nor did they weaken or humble themselves. Allah knoweth the Allah loveth those who endure. All that they said was, O oh, our Lord, forgive us our sins and our extravagance in our affair, and set firm our feet and help us against the unbelieving people. So Allah gave them the reward of this world and the good reward of the hereafter. Allah loveth those who do well. O oh, ye who have believed, if ye obey those who have disbelieved, they will send you back upon your heels, and ye will be and ye will return losers. Nay, Allah is your patron, and he is the best of helpers. We shall cast terror into the hearts of those who have disbelieved, for having associated with the law what he never sent down any authority for. Their resort is the fire, bad is the lodging of the wrongdoers. Allah made good his promise to you when you were sweeping them away by his permission until you went ye flinched and vied in withdrawing from the affair and disobeyed after he had shown you what ye love. Then he turned you from them that he might try you. Recall when ye were making for the skyline without turning aside for anyone, though the messenger was calling to you from behind you. So he recompensed you with distress upon distress. Some of you wish this world and some of you wish the hereafter, but he hath pardoned you, and Allah is bounteous to the believers, in order that ye may not grieve for what ye have missed, or what has befallen you. Allah is aware of what ye do. Then, after the distress, he sent down upon you security, a languor, which came over part of you, but part of you were concerned about themselves, thinking about Allah, what is not true, the thoughts of paganism, misbelief, polytheism something saying have we any say in the affair at all say the affair belongs to a law entirely they conceal within themselves what they do not reveal to thee saying if we had any say in the affair we should not have been killed there say if ye had been in your houses those who were written down to be killed would have sallied out to the places where they lie and it was that Allah might try what is in your breasts and sift out what was in your hearts, Allah knoweth your inmost thoughts. As for those of you who turned away on the day when the two hosts mass met, it was Satan who sought to trip them up for something they had earned. Allah hath overlooked their offense. Allah is forgiving kindly. O oh, you who have believed, do not be like those who have disbelieved and who say with regard to their brethren when they knock about in the land or are on raids, if they had been at home, they would not have died or been killed, that Allah may lay mat as an anguish upon their hearts. It is Allah who giveth life and who causeth to die, and Allah of what ye do is observant. And by the mercy of Allah, thou hast been mild to them, and if thou hast been rough and hard of heart, they would have disbanded from about thee. Overlook now their offenses and acts pardon for them, consult them in their affair. And when thou hast made up thy mind, place thy trust upon Allah. Allah loveth those who place their trust upon him. And surely if you are killed in the way of Allah or die, forgiveness and mercy from Allah are better than what you bring together. If Allah help you, no one can overcome you. But if he abandon you, who will help you after him? Upon Allah, let the believers place their trust. Surely, if ye die or are killed, to Allah will ye be gathered. It was not the part of a prophet to swindle. He who swindles will come on the day of resurrection with what he has swindled. Then each one will be paid in full what he has earned, and they will not be wronged. 
is he then who follows after the approval of a law like him who settles under anger from a law and whose resort is Gehenna, a bad place to go? They are set in degrees with the law, and a law is observant of what they do. Surely a law bestowed a favor upon the believers when he raised up amongst them a messenger, one of themselves, to recite his signs to them, to purify them by almsgiving, and to teach them the book and the wisdom, although they had formerly been in manifest error. When then a misfortune has befallen upon you, which is already balanced twice over by what ye have acquired, will ye say, how is this? Say ye are yourselves to blame. A law over all things hath power. What befell you on the day when the two hosts met was by the permission of a law, and in order that he might know the believers, and in order that he might know those who, having stayed behind, those who played the hypocrite, they were asked to come and fight in the way of a law are to defend. But they said, if we knew of fighting, we would follow you. They were on that day nearer to unbelief than to belief, say regarding their brethren. If they had obeyed us, they would not have been killed. Say repel death from yourselves. If then ye speak the truth, saying with their mouths what was not in their hearts, but a law knoweth what they conceal, counting uh, count not those who have been killed in the way of a law is dead, nay alive with their Lord, provided for, delighting what a law has vouchsafed them of his bounty, and rejoicing at tidings of those who left behind, have not yet joined them, that fear rests not upon them, nor do they grieve, rejoicing at tidings of goodness from a law, and bounty, that a law doth not allow the reward the believers to go to waste, praise for those who followed the Meccans, retiring after Uhud, for those who responded to Allah and the messenger after the hurt had fallen upon them, for those of them who did well and acted piously in store, a reward mightily. To the people who have said, the people who have collected forces for you, so be afraid of them, but it increased them in belief. And they said, it is on Allah that we count, and good the trustee. So they returned with goodness and bounty from Allah, Without evil having touched them, they followed after the approval of the law, and a law wields bounty mightily. That only Satan frightening his clients, so do not fear them, but fear me if ye be believers. Let not those who are amusely hasty in unbelief grieve thee. They will not injure a law at all. A law intends to appoint them no good fortune in the hereafter, and in store for them is a punishment mighty. Verily, those who have bought unbelief at the expense of belief, will not injure a law at all, and in store for them is a punishment painful. Let not those who disbelieve think that such respite as we give them is for their good. We give them respite simply that they may increase in guilt, and for them is a punishment humiliating. A law is not one to leave the believers in the situation in which ye are until he distinguishes the bad from the good, nor is a law one to let you observe the unseen but Allah chooseth of his messengers whom he willeth. So believe in Allah and his messengers. If ye believe and act piously, there is for you a reward mighty. Let not those who stingily withhold the bounty which Allah hath bestowed upon them think that is good for them, nay, it is bad for them. What they have stingily withheld will be hung about their necks on the day of resurrection to Allah belongs the inheritance of the heavens and the earth. And Allah, what ye do is aware, Allah have certainly heard the words of those who said, surely a law is poor and we are rich. We shall write down what they have said along with their killing of the prophets wrongfully and we shall say, taste the punishment of the burning. That is because of what your hands have sent forward and because a law is not a wronger of his servants. Those who said, a law hath pledged us not to believe in any messenger until he comes to us with a sacrifice which fire consumes. Say, messengers have come to you before me with the evidences and with what ye speak of why then did ye kill them if ye speak the truth if then they count thee as false messengers have already before thy time been counted false who came with the evidences and the psalms and the illuminating book everyone is subject to death 
and it is on the day of resurrection that you will paid you he will be paid your rewards in full then he who, who is removed from the fire and taken into the garden will have come off well this present life is only an, illus an illusory enjoyment you will no doubt be afflicted in goods and persons and will hear many annoyances from those to whom the book has been given before you as well as from the polytheists but if he endure and act piously and that is one of the determining factors of affairs recall when Allah took the covenant of those who were given the book ye shall surely make it clear to the people and shall not conceal it but they threw it behind their backs and bought with it a small gang that is what they buy think not that those who rejoice in what they have brought and like to be praised for what they have not done think not that they are in a place of safety from the punishment for them is a punishment painful to a law belongs the kingdom of the heavens and the earth and a law over all things hath power verily in the creation of the heavens and the earth and in the alternation of night and day are signs for those of insight who remember a law standing and sitting and lying on their sides and meditate on the creation of the heavens and the earth O oh, our Lord, thou hast not created this in vain. Glory be to thee, protect us from the punishment of the fire. O oh, our Lord, whomsoever thou wilt cause to enter the fire, and thou wilt have abased, and for the wrongdoers there are no helpers. O oh, our Lord, we have heard one summoning to believe, saying, Believe in your Lord, and we have believed. O oh, our Lord, forgive us our sins, and expiate from us our evil deeds, and unite us in death with the pure. O oh, our Lord, give us also what thou hast promised us on the assurance of thy messengers and obeys us not on the day of resurrection verily thou wilt not fail the appointment then their lord responded then i shall not let the work of any of you go to waste whether male or female ye belong to each other those who have emigrated have been expelled from their dwellings and have suffered annoyance in my cause have fought and been killed from them i shall expiate their evil deeds and cause them to enter gardens through which rivers flow a reward from a law and with the law is the best reward let not the fact that those who have disbelieved move to and fro in the country delude thee a little temporary enjoyment then their lodging is gehenna a bad bed but for those who act piously towards the lord are gardens through which the rivers flow in which to abide and entertain it from a law and what is with the law is best for the pure among the people of the book are some who believe in a law and what has been sent down to you and what has been sent down to them humbling themselves to a law and not bartering the signs of a law for a small price such have the reward but their lord verily Allah is quick at reckoning O ye who have believed endure pit endurance against endurance furnish riding animals and act piously towards the law mayhap ye will succeed now some of it's much more than how the Christians rearrange the order of the books or perhaps divide some of the books into different books. The, some of the verses are actually rearranged and that's not exactly uh, fixed. And, uh, you know, there's the numbering and the page format. It's just very rather difficult to read, but we'll get into uh, more of that in the comment section for this.